Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? I ain't seen no purse. I'm the big dills. Don't do that. Hundred dollars for showing in the bit at you heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Gratata, ta gra ta ta gra ta ta Yo, Munfu Gunfu Podcast, he's in his bag, I'm not in my Munfu shirt, because, yeah, I swear the two different pinks may be different, I don't know, anyways, yo, get your money up, not your funny up, profit, pro making make a paper till the sun goes down, my son over here, screw face, Jean, what <laughs> Yo, move the camera a little bit so they can see you a little more, you know what I mean? Just a little bit, you know what I mean? A little bit more, you know what I mean? There you go. We in here. Yo. Alrighty then, alrighty. This is part three of, of the 50 Cent Beef. 50 Cent, ja, um, basically, it's probably be easier to say Aftermath versus Murder, Inc., but that whole thing, um... Before we start, a uh, few days left on the pink apparel. After October, it's going to be down. Like, it's going to be off the site. And then we're going to hit you all with something new. But make sure you guys uh, support that link. I mean, the store is right below. It's right Just below click it. now, man. Go click that. So uh, make sure you all keep watching that Vic Menstra uh, music video. We have 15,000 views. We only... Ow! I burnt myself. We only uh we only five hundred views away Yo. from our goal, which is twenty racks. Uh, the audio has twenty one racks right now. The goal is to beat the audio because the video way better. The audio. And uh, going live, I think it's today. No, no, this is gonna be the third part. I don't know when. So, <laughs> uh, going live sometime either today or the day after the next. Most likely. Yeah, because Friday. this everything's all messed up, man. We don't even know what. Never mind. That's for some. We three videos ahead right now, so yeah, we don't know when this will drop. But anyway, so the first part we talked about was everything before Fifty got uh, sh everything up to Fifty getting shot. Um, if we have to go back again, Preem was <coughs> had ties with Murder Inc. 50 didn't like Murder, Inc. 50 went to high school with Ja. 50 makes the ghetto Quran. Allegedly, Kareem doesn't like that. Kareem, by the way, is a part of the Supreme Team, if people don't know. Like, when Jay says, uh, we the dream team, meet the Supreme Team. When he said that uh, on Click, that's what we talking about. <laughs> if you don't know who the Supreme Team is, just look them up. If you don't know who... Even if you don't know who like supreme himself is any of that just look that up just look it up man go check out um what's his name uh pop a lot he got a video uh where he breaks down a lot of this stuff too it's a really dope little documentary thing check that out because it'll definitely give you the insight yeah it's some real street stuff so then part two part one ended it's like a lord of the rings part one ended where 50 got shot and john and um, I would assume, not, I have to keep saying assume a legend because I, I don't like it to say, but I would assume, would expect, okay, 50's gone. We're not going to have to deal with this um, issue anymore after him getting shot. And then um, he gets signed to Aftermath, Shady, which was uh, not good for um, Murder, Inc. because at that point it was get rid of Jar or die trying. Facts. So then we got all the way up into 50 get excited, drop it, get rich, or die try, because he, because he get up your super band and hip hop, selling all these records, out selling Ja. We got all the way to New York, the New York track. People thought Ja was done. Ja came back with New York. Fat Joe was a part of New York. That's what stumbled him into the beef with 50. Facts. Then Game got signed. That's really where we stopped. Yep. Game got signed. Because, believe it or not, well, we could just get right into it. I think Game, I mean, if you were paranoid, but I think Game played a major part of this beef. 
um, and not even like he tried to. But game came into the game, huh? not wanting to beef with, because 50 was beefing with Jada Kiss and Fat Joe. Right. You could tell Gabe came into the game not wanting to beef with them. But, so, him not going, and I don't even think he was like super duper dumb cool with them, but he definitely wasn't dissing them. And game was supposed to be like 50s little, like, I don't want to say minion, but like underling, like, yo, yeah. You under me, they're damn near treating game like like uh, when it comes to passing the baton. They're damn near treating like Dre pass it to M, M pass it to Fifty, Fifty pass it to Game. That's how they were trying to um, market. Yeah. So the funny thing about that was, I don't think Game ever like when Game first came into the game. I hate saying that. He was very like. G unit, uh, uh, gotta get my son these G unit sneaks. Very G unit heavy because he, people are saying he's a part of G unit. Yeah. So when he wasn't coming out and riding on Fat Joe and stuff, Fifty took it as resentment. If you're not with me, you're against me. Literally said that. Yeah. And that's yeah. how that part, that leg of that beat started. That's why I'm saying this is more than a beef. This is like a hip hop civil war. It's like a hip hop <laughs> war because it wasn't just two people beefing. It was like there was a lot of different factors, factions, a lot of different people who got involved strictly because either they were with Fifty or with um, Ja. But it really, right. it wasn't too much on Ja. It wasn't as much on Ja's side as it was on Fifty's side. The, so Fifty was like, if you rolling with them, you got to get it. Like. 50 Literally. was definitely on his ready, like, yo, because everybody involved <laughs> was getting their hands dirty when it came to 50. Like, a shot, you got it. Yeah, literally everybody involved was getting their hands dirty when it came to 50. And so when game came and he was kind of keep the peace, which is mad weird. That's a different story, but it's kind of weird that he was like that just because. I mean, you could tell it's not a different story. It's a story. The thing about game is, like, game is very like beefy like literally after that his entire career has kind of been based around what type of controversial ish he can do and like well he came in beefing he had beef with joe um button yeah um, yeah 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 but yeah, he came in beefing but I'm saying, yeah but that i know that yeah facts but i'm saying though when it came to the whole 50 situation that he was kind of acting hands off but then after that the thing that what that kind of what made game keep going was the fact that he kept dissing people like he did the 300 bars and running and all that kind of stuff One hundred people is, it was 50 once they started beefing game see and then that's another thing that i think took away the steam from the because 50 switched to uh, but anyway so i think uh in part two we also talked about how when eminem got involved in it and that's how we got nail in the coffin and that's how we because fifty because M was beefing with Benzino and stuff, yes. and then Ja Rule was inherited through Fifty Cent through Haley's, and then saying Haley's name, and then they did go to sleep, nail in the coffin. Um, um, what else? Uh, Haley's revenge. Um, <coughs> a lot of stuff like that. So it was like really at that time, especially why it was extra weirder for Game to not ride like beefing because it was that's what it was. Right. It literally was that. There was no such thing as you cool with these people because even 50, I mean, M, Dre, everybody was jumping in. And so, but Game was in a weird position, though. Because Game came into the game, <laughs> fans of these people, and clearly being inspired by people like Jada Kiss and Fat Joe. So it must have been an odd thing, and him not being from New York, so he's not there for it. Right. Must have been an odd thing for he. You have to have this beef coming into the game. <clears throat> it's gotta be a weird. Thing. <clears throat> I mean, with, I don't know. It just kind of, yeah. That I, I mean, game was kind of definitely in a different lane when it came to Fifty. Like, they made great music together, but. When it came to the, there was not a big time where they were cool. There wasn't like a, a large majority of time when they were cool when it came down to that. It only, I'm trying to think of like, how long do you think it was that they were like really together together? Because 
really only Game's first album, obviously. But yeah, I mean, I, like before that wasn't even that long into the album that I feel like they were beefing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't think Fifty ever liked Game. I think Fifty saw Game as I think because notice how Game had the Dr. Dre co-sign. I think 50 saw Game as his replacement. I don't think 50 went and found Game. I think Dr. Dre might have went and found Game, or that's how they're promoting it, because even in the booklet of the documentary, you don't see 50 Cent. You see the uh, Dr. Dre. In there. Yeah. So, like, when they're in the, the low lows. So it's like, I feel like 50 never, the plan of Aftermath, Interscope, was Game is next. And 50, you got to pass the torch him. That's how we do it here. Right, right, right. I don't right. think he ever wanted to do it. Because it was like even the songs that he was on with them was essentially songs that he, was for him, right. and the, I know the story goes he gave it to him, but I don't know how much he gave it to him when he was told. To to <laughs> I'ma just be the person to say that I feel like the the documentary was a <coughs> god dang um, the documentary was a very very good album. But I yep. definitely feel like that album was 100% good because of 50. I know that ain't got nothing to do with this, but I feel like if it wasn't for that album... It do, yeah, it do. It could build resentment doing that. But at the same time, <coughs> I know for a fact um, Hater to Love It was supposed to be a 50 Cent song. I know for a fact this was it. This Is How We Do. I think that was supposed to be yeah. one. Um, I know for a fact... What was the other one? <laughs> um, there's like three songs I know for a fact Hate It or Love It yeah I said that Hate It or Love It um, hold on I'll tell you right now um, West Side Story Hate It or Love It How We Do um, I don't think uh, I think West Side Story is good Fit the right there Oh, you said right. Yeah, the songs that were like supposed to, because 50 just doubled. Oh, like okay, okay. I thought you oh, said feature. Going. My bad, my bad. Um, Yeah. The, Wait, 50's on West Side Story? Oh, he is. Yeah. That kind of threw me off too for a second. Anyways, yeah, my bad. I was fucking booted, I guess. Um, I didn't even mean to say that. But anyway. So. Um, so Game coming in took away the intensity of Ja and 50. But I think the thing about Ja and 50 is that that will forever be intense. That is not something that anytime soon is going to be ending. Right. You know what I mean? Right, like, that's right. no time soon <laughs> is that going to even... You're never going to see them hugging, you know? You're never going to see any of that stuff because it goes beyond music, like I've said in every part. Like, this is street stuff blood has been shed there's kind of no going back <laughs> the um uh, yeah I agree I mean it's <clears throat> and 50 a person that won't ever let it die either because he's very he's very well bad. and I think 50 gets a bad rap for that I think 50 lets squashes a lot more things than people even give him credit for it He's cool. He he squashed it with Game five separate times. Right. He squashed it with Fat Joe. Like he squashed like these and these were things that people thought they would never see. So like I think he's he's done it. You but said that's what? Different. You said he's done. He's done it. Oh he's yeah, done yeah, yeah, it. yeah 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 yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now because people are talking about a Ja Rule and Ashanti collab project. What I'm telling you right now, if that happens, you better expect a new Fifty Cent project coming very soon too. Or something. Something. A movie. He gonna do something. Something to block it. Whatever he can do to block it is gonna he's gonna do. But I mean, not not for nothing, I don't know how well that album would do, so he might have enough ammunition just based on the album sales alone to cook him, so <laughs> Cause like, I'm gonna tell you right now, if that album comes out and sells fourteen thousand first week. Fifty by the cook. People are people are fronting like they want it, like they want to see it. I'm not seeing too many people say it, but according to when I read the article, um, they've been generating excitement. I guess 
But y'all better, y'all better, 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 better do numbers because you know 50 about to be going to take out billboards in Times Square that, ju that just are middle fingers. Bro, I do not know how well that album would do, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. All right. That definitely sounds like that's not what I want to hear. Like, it seems you know, like a lot of people are not are going to fake say that they want to hear that. That's, that's what, what it I'm is. That's exactly what it is. Like, because, yo, son, I don't even know if I would, like, <sighs> there's, like, certain people that, like, I don't know if I want to hear rap anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that sounds. But like, y'all had his second chance on. Hey, on my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my hoes, and he's like, no, nope, okay. So now I officially know I don't ever want to hear you again. Cause it's not like he didn't try in the new era. He tried, and nope. Now we're good. We're good on you. You get you as long as all we can do is give him tries. Cause I, there's no such a person that I haven't given a try that I don't know if I want to listen to that really? I liked. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll give you a try, but if you had your try. That's it. Man. I don't expect you to be dropping nothing hot if you can drop nothing hot with Lil Wayne when Lil Wayne was the god. Like, <laughs> wait, you, hold on. But are you saying that song is whack? The, the song is whack. Yes, Lil Wayne's verse. If you just make that Lil Wayne verse a song, it's cool. With the hook? No. I thought That's the hook was okay. I'm not gonna no, lie. No. Like, I'm not gonna pretend like. That hook is horrible. And Ja Rule does good hooks. That, hook that song to me overall is like kind of. What? You it's like that It's not like hook? I like. It's like like ironically, yeah. Like not like I'm I, like I think, yo. It's... I think you like it because of so many years we've been making fun of it as as a hook. Ja Rule is a is because a, here's the thing. The beat that, is like I feel you, but the beat, bro, and like. I don't know the beat and like it, it, the aesthetic of it sounds good. It sounds good. I, I'm. It's kind of hot. I'm not. You take weight, you take weight <laughs> off that song, that I would it, kick that right into the garbage disposal. You it's take like off that song, I feel that what you're saying. Garbage. I mean, like I feel like the I feel like the garbage. You really like to all my nigga my as a hook. You like that as a hook for real, like. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like whack. I mean, I feel what you're saying. Like, it's like whack as far as like what oh, he's no, saying, yeah, yeah. but the way that the song sounds though, it's like, I don't know. It's all right. If I hear that, I'm going to get hype. I'm going to be like, My, yeah, this is a hype. That's, you're going to be the only nigga to get hyped. To nah, no like, Have you seen the video when, when Ja Rule is saying the chorus? He's literally like pop lock. Don't do that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, don't like, do uh, that. Uh, 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 he's literally like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh,
I, I don't know, bro. I think it would. Every time they've ever been in person, it's been something. I don't know, bro. I feel like, like they're like, uh, they're like ca- a cat and a dog. Like I because Game and Fifty through. were like that too, though. Like really, no. Like that. Even Fifty said himself it wasn't the same with Game. Game's whole thing is because of disloyalty. That's why he could squash it with Five Joe. That because all his other things were, with Jar. It's different. It's different, bro. It's I don't know. different. So like, you think it, that? Okay, my question is this: So you think that if Fifty and Jar in a room together? That who you think's gonna do? What you think's gonna happen? You think Fifty gonna just run up on Son, or you think Jaws gonna run up on Son? If it's just them, they're gonna get in the fight. If it's just them, they're fighting. That's not gonna happen though. They're fighting. They're fighting. You're tripping. You are tripping. You are tripping. You so you no, mean they, tell, you don't think these dudes have ever crossed paths in this many years? They've crossed think? paths and they've fought like every time. Yeah, but I'm saying though, like I don't, I feel like now that's too. I feel like it's too. Where would Fifty now. and J- I'm sure maybe, but Fifty and Ja probably aren't crossing paths as much now as they were back when they were beefing. Because Ja ain't like in. Yeah, but if they both stay anywhere near, like if. Like you not you not in that many places, you know what I mean? Like whether if he live in Cali <coughs> I'm sure that they both be in Cali. <coughs> he lived I'm sure in, Fifty is not seeing Ja like that. I don't know. I mean I Even don't know if, if he, he is or not. Because they they would have been living in the same like I'm sure Fifty lives in Connecticut somewhere, but like that's not I'm not he's not seeing Ja like that. He's not seeing Ja like that, bro. He's not seeing I'm telling you right now. If if Fifty Cent walked in on an Irv Gotti interview, he'd start fighting. I'm I'm confident. I'll put my money that if Fifty Cent walked in on an Irv Gotti interview, yo they would get son, fighting. I need that to happen. I need that type. I need that to. I like that energy. Nah, people are smarter than that. The, people know how to book those guys. Man, listen, <laughs> that would be legendary. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah, know, man. I don't know. Level. I think that I don't think that they'll ever um, squash it. Like, just to answer your question, I don't we think talking that. about someone if he's willing to do that seat stuff. That he's bro, he's still in. I'm gonna fight you if I see you. That is going above and beyond to try to make somebody's day bad. <laughs> so you gonna tell me if these two guys are in the room, you don't think he would fight them? Like, no, they're not gonna. Maybe they talk it out after that, but like they're going to fight. They're going to fight. It's just gonna be a. That's like you might you might as well just assume that like okay they go fight but maybe they'll talk after that man I will watch but, but I think the, the the fifty has like a way of hating somebody just like like actually forever. like he's not like like real he doesn't hate, like, metaphorically hate somebody yeah. it's not like man I hate you it's not like that it's like he actually hates people hate like he like, hates real people. life like hate how a, a racist white person hates black people yeah like, 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 job <laughs> but he's not like that with only him he's like that with with people like he hates his but really it's like, like it's really just him kinda and probably people in the street but I think that that, the job was the last like. person that was, <laughs> Yo, huh? he hates his baby mom like that too what do you mean? Yeah, but that's kind of like street stuff, technically, because she knew him before he was, like, a big guy, so that's yeah, still, like, close to home stuff. It's not like, I don't yeah. mean, like, I mean anybody in the industry. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't yeah. No, that's anybody true. in the industry that he does, he can't squash it with, except for Ja. No, and I think only because Ja, because he was the last person that was very connected to 50 Cent street life. That's a funny, yeah, I agree with that. I don't know, son. Definitely a petty betty, bro. That's crazy. Cause even him and Bag of Smurf squashed the squashed the beef. But that was some real life. Yeah. 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 He definitely squashed beef. Fifty squashed beef with pretty much everybody. I mean, that's definitely the only. I mean, he squashed it with game too. Yeah, like five times. <clears throat> definitely. I don't even know if they're friends or not now. It's just every few years they squash the beef again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They be in the same location and everything's everything. But yeah, man, get your money up, not your funny up. You never see. even answered the question, but yeah. I'm yeah, I did. Up. I did. I even said to answer this question. What was the answer? I said, nah, I don't think that they'll ever squash it as in like uh, 100%. Do you think, do but you think I think that the they won't fight beef? What'd you say? Do you think that's the illest hip hop beef? I would still have to give Tupac a big hit. 
I mean, but they paid the ultimate price. Exactly. So like, 50, 50 is just under, just by a hair, because he almost yeah. did. Yeah, and there was a lot of stuff that came with it, too, so. Yeah, niggas are in jail for life behind that, niggas died behind. Oh, you know, I'm about to give that to 50 and Ja. I might have to give that low key to 50 and Ja. Because there's a couple people who are not around because of that. Just in general. Like, a couple people. Definitely some wily stuff. No no boys. And you gotta give it the longevity award, too, because this, this nigga's still going strong. Forever. Like, definitely every day. Like, that's what I was saying last night to my girl. I was like, yo, I swear to God, like, 50 Cent be talked about. One, like, I see him, like, once a week. Like, I can't even remember a time where I just don't see something with him doing something to somebody. Like, his son, his baby mom, his Ja Rule, like, saying something. But my thing is specifically about the Ja thing. I feel like these niggas are going to be old men beefing. Just old men beefing. I don't think it's ever going to end. Nah, nah. But I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's ever going to end with the petty stuff, but I just don't know 100% if they would really fight like that, if there was in the same room. I think if they had the chance to fight, they would fight. If they had the chance, I think maybe. But like, that isn't chance, but I'm saying like, nah. I think it would have to be too much of a perfect world because I don't think you ever gonna get them two in the room where there's not a bunch of people that are either. Gonna yeah, stop of course. But in. what are you saying? You said if they were to be in a room together. With I'm just saying, like, I think if it it was at an awards thing or something, I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't think that they're gonna do that. But I think if it was like a situation where, like, if they was in the same club or something, maybe. Hold on. I don't think that. I think if they catch one of Ja Rule's peoples or Ja Rule by himself, they're going to do him dirty. And I Yeah, no, if they catch him by himself. But I, I'm saying, though, that's so like because, because that's point I'm saying that's fight. different because then they ain't trying to like that's not trying to be. I'm saying in a more public setting, I don't think that they going to try to make it pop off because they Are know you what say, So you're basically from. saying if, if niggas could get in tr- nobody who has beef is going to do it. Like, what? No, do because you, you what you talking about, if they catch him by himself, then there ain't no proof of nothing. I'm saying I don't think that they're going to fight on camera type shit. My ultimate point is they're never... If 50 got the chance to fight Ja Rule, he's going to do it. That's my ultimate point. Yeah. Okay. So... What I'm saying is, they just did gunplay dirty. Like when they caught him at the what, what was that? The BET Awards. Yeah, but they that was a minute that, ago. They did him I, definitely did him greasy, but that was a minute ago though. I think they squashed that. Pretty sure they squashed that. The hell are you doing? Somebody just said. Uh, Oh, Yo, cool. get your money up, not your funny up. Three part series. Let us know in the comment section what you thinking about this situation. Grr. Do you think it'll ever end? Shut up. Do you think it'll ever end the episode? Peace.